if you're just joining us, yes, we've got tropical depression number four working its way up the west coast of Florida as a tropical wave. It dumped really heavy rain on Saturday across South Florida. Miami received a little more than two inches of rain yesterday. Heavy downpours, a lot of lightning on the day uh, yesterday. That was the order of the day, at least in the Keys. And the five-day forecast here, believe it or not, reveals a pretty quiet Sunday. Temperatures warm. It'll be muggy, of course. Then Monday, here come more rain and storms. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Miami. But I think we're getting used to this. We are. Tropical downpours. And could any of them be related to a tropical system? Well, for that, we turn to our hurricane expert, Dr. Steve Lyons, our expert here at the Weather Channel. He's been here since 1998. He holds his doctorate, and he is the guy. He's not only a surfing expert, surfing expert, but also on the tropics. So it's good to have him here on board. He's definitely got us covered. So why don't we go ahead and bring in Dr. Lyons. Of course, a lot to follow out there. Good morning, Dr. Lyons. Let's good start morning. with TD number four. All right, well, it's spun up in a hurry, and uh, typically when that happens, it catches people by surprise. The good news is it's going to be on shore fairly quickly. Winds 35 miles per hour moving north-northwest right now, and it's a very small circulation, so only a very small portion of the coast is going to feel any winds anywhere close to that. You can see that here. I've drawn the surface winds in Tampa. They're offshore at 10 miles per hour. A little stronger offshore, running about 25. So it's a tiny little core in here of winds that's going to come up toward the Florida Panhandle over the next uh, 12 hours or so. Let's look uh, next at what's going to happen relative to the uh, impacts at the coastline and when we look at those impacts uh, rainfall wise you can see the radar has a fairly decent cloud swirl on it but the surface pressures remain pretty high and this rain is going to come on shore and bring mostly some welcome rain. The, the question is how strong is this circulation going to get before it gets to the coast and we're thinking it's not going to have a chance to develop too much. Of course it only has to get five miles per hour before it becomes a named storm but it's going to be in this tiny little area right here as it comes up so a, br a broad area of impacts is not going to be expected here. All right, let's look at the impacts uh, that we expect from this particular uh, tropical depression as it stays basically a tropical depression over the next 24 hours. And when we look at it, well, we don't have the impacts there. Somebody back there can push the button on uh, VisWeather 400 once. We'll have those impacts, but I don't know if anybody can hear me or not back there. Any Anyway, let's go back to uh, the, uh, the radar here. The bottom line is we expect low impacts. The wind field is very, very small, and uh, the bottom line is the wave action is going to be very small as well. There are the impacts, uh, low all the way across. Waves uh, less than 8 feet, water rise a foot or less. Rainfall is mostly welcome. We could see some minor street flooding briefly, and the winds are going to be low enough that we might have an isolated power outage, but no big deal from that. Back All to right. you guys. So, Steve, that one could become Claudette, but that's not the only game in town. We're still talking about Anna and Bill swirling out there, right? 